Good morning, Mountain Christian Church. This is your brother Chris, again uh, to share a meditation with you this morning, uh, Saturday before Easter Sunday. Our great and loving Father, our loving Father God, would you bless our time together this morning as we meet uh, with you, we come in the name of Jesus our Lord and our King. Recently, I've been meditating on the word beloved, used 62 times in the New Testament alone. It means not just loved, but greatly loved. Be overwhelmed with me by this. We are beloved by our God. After Jesus was baptized by John, a voice from heaven declared, You are my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. We see here his true identity. In Christ, we are also the beloved. One example being, but you beloved, keep yourselves in the love of God from Jude 20. That is our true identity as well. We the beloved are going to gather together at the communion table this morning. If you wish to pause this video and grab some communion elements, then proceed with us all. That would be really cool. At the last supper that Jesus shared with his disciples, we read, and while they were eating, he took some bread and after a blessing, he broke it and gave it to them and said, take it, this is my body. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this. In remembrance of me. In 1 Corinthians 10 we read, And is not the bread that we break a sharing in the body of Christ? Because there is one loaf, and we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one loaf. Then in chapter 12 he goes further, You are the body of Christ. Continuing we read in the same way Jesus took the cup, gave thanks and offered it to them, and they all drank from it. This cup which is poured out for you is the new covenant in my blood. Again, going back to 1 Corinthians 10, is not the cup of blessing which we bless a sharing in the blood of Christ? The blood of Jesus Christ, the blood that cleanses us from all sins, we read in 1 John 1. In Hebrews 9 and 10, we read about this new covenant between God and man, replacing the old covenant, the old covenant where we receive forgiveness of sins by the shedding of blood of animals repeatedly. This new covenant cleanses us by the blood of Christ, having been offered once to bear the sins of many. Jesus, the bread of life, took us by his mercy and grace and our choosing to say, yes, I need you to save me from my sins. I trust we have each become a part of this one loaf. Join this community and are part of the beloved. If you have not said yes to God's offer of salvation of your soul through faith in Jesus Christ, how about now? You are loved by the eternal God of all creation. Now take the bread now. Jesus took the bread, representing his body, and he has taken us to be a part of the body of Christ. We take this bread. We thank you, Lord, for taking us, for making us your beloved. Jesus blessed the bread, giving thanks for it, and he has blessed each one of us, giving thanks for us, his beloved children. We give thanks for every spiritual blessing that we receive, especially for your Holy Spirit working in us. Jesus broke the bread as he was broken for us on the cross. Thank you, Jesus from helping us to see our need of you. 
pearl and brokenness. Yes, Jesus gave the bread as he does to us, his beloved, that we might have life, and they all ate together. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for new life. Our old life is dead, and we are new creations in Jesus. Would you take a, some bread with me? Jesus took the cup, representing his blood, his blood shed for us. Thank you for dying for me, for us. Jesus blessed the cup, giving thanks. And we give thanks for the cup, for the sacrifice of Jesus on our behalf. Jesus offered the cup to his disciples. We receive his sacrifice for our sins with thanksgiving. Jesus and they all drank from the cup. Would you join me? Yes, we want more of you, Lord Jesus. We are the beloved of God. Today, let's choose to live in our identity as beloved ones. Have a great day.